Hello, my name is Chuck Harp. I'm the research associate for the C.P. Gillette Museum in Fort Collins on the campus of Colorado State University. I'm here today to talk about the SCAN digitizing network. And uh, we've started uh, 2016 with the LEPNET project entering into the SCAN database where we were a part of a, uh, a four-year grant to digitize our moths and butterflies. Uh, since then, we have started a four-year grant on digitizing our bees out of our collection. And uh, this talk is going through to introduce some of you to the SCAN network. Basic screen is scans-bugs.org is the site. And you come to this, we'll select the site map. And as I scroll down to select our university, we come to this screen. We do a simple search on one of the tabs. And you can see all of the possibilities, all of the uh, institutions that are already in the network as we select ours and we'll go to the helicted bees. This what pulls up and I can select the one entry that has an image attached. And this is what the public sees when they pull this up. 98% uh, of our specimens are uh, geolocated. And by putting that in, we will pull up the map of where that specimen was taken. If I pull up the individual entry, this is what we've entered from the data on the label with the attachments of the three images, the dorsal, the lateral, and the head shot of each of the bees that we are adding to those entries. We can go back to the main screen and select images. And I've selected uh, some of the tiger moths. These are some of the images that we've taken for the uh, tiger moths and its entry. And we've attached the image to that entry. Another one of the screens we go to is the statistics. And we can pull our university and the families that we've digitized by family or by order. As we go back to the main screen also, we can show you all of the uh, other groups that uh, that this is connected with. Just a particular interest, the SciNet is a great resource uh, that has about a hundred um, herbaria that has all of their records in this network also. And this is an overview of the scan digitizing site uh, that we continue to use. This is the basic screen that uh, all of our entries have been placed on. Obviously there's more fields than we use on an insect label, but uh, these are the, uh, the fields that uh, each of the disciplines use to digitize their collection. And this is an overview of the scan uh, digitizing efforts uh, for the Symbiota website. And we want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you.